Hi Aquarius, welcome to your forecast for year 2023. This is a general love reading. I will cover also work, but the topics uh, there will be here are first a general overview of the energies, then what is the good stuff coming to you, then uh, what you should be more aware of, love life energies, work life energies, and a message from the zodiac dices. Now let's continue. First, I will start with uh, the first spread. Uh, I will shuffle the deck five times. First, let's uh, find your card, Aquarius, the star card. So, for Aquarius, we have the star card. Okay. Three cards before and three cards after. Four cards, in fact, because the Sun card wanted to to be there as well. Okay, uh, you are coming from uh, four of wands, nine of uh, cups, both in the reverse, and the Emperor is upright. There may have been quite uh, energy to be to hold the structure of of the connection, to not let it go, to make it better, to find a way on how to make it right. But you were not fulfilled emotionally, drained energetically, and the connection seemed like it was not stable at all. So. That's the energy you are coming from in 2022. Now, the energy you are going to is very good because I have the King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords and the Sun card. So apparently, for a, ma a majority of you, there will be an important relationship. A very stable one that has potential for long-term commitment. Some of you that are looking to get married will uh, get married in 2023. And uh, this person offers you stability, maturity, maybe an earth sign or a Capricorn Virgo, or they may have uh, earth elements heavily in their chart, in their birth chart. And this connection definitely will make you happy. But with that page of swords, the communication may not be the strongest point in the beginning, I guess, or there will be not very much uh, a quick start. It will uh, be gradually, slowly, and then it will progress faster and more steadily. That's what I'm getting. Or the communication may have some problems, but... Uh, not uh, not very challenging because uh, this uh, problems will be overcome. I think you will find uh, the common ground. Uh, the communication then will be good because I have the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles there that support a very stable uh, relationship. Now let's jump to the good stuff that is coming to you in 2023. I already saw it. It may be about commitment, stability, and uh, focus in uh, some of you that may be wanting to restructure maybe an old connection. I don't know. We will see later. But a more serious commitment. I think it is your good stuff as well. But let's see what do we have here at the second spread. Let's shuffle four more times.
So what is the good stuff? What is the good stuff for Aquarius? Okay, four of cups in the reverse, the star card and the justice. Some of you may be dealing with another Aquarius or a Libra. I have water as well. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now what I'm guessing is that the good stuff is that if you are still contemplating, thinking about a connection that uh, where you may have been rejected or it was not very fulfilling for you anymore. It became dull, not interesting. So take what resonates from two, two of those stories. I think that uh, you will be in a better position if you think that the love life is uh, not balanced or you are not finding the right partner for you. Uh, things will be better in 2023 because you will be in a harmonious relationship. Even partnerships, uh, professional partnerships, will be balanced, will be fair. I'm getting faith will be restored. Faith will be restored in love. Now let's see uh, what you should be more aware of in 2023. What you should be more aware of in 2023. Now you have lots of love to give Aquarius. I have the King of Cups here. King of Cups is a card of emotional stability and maturity, is serious, has lots of love, but is not that quick into expressing those feelings. So if we are getting this as a message or something you should be more aware of or focus more is expressing that cup uh, of love of yours to the people you are interested, showing interest. Or if you are really with somebody you love and like, showing it, expressing it, that you really love and like them because that's how they will know and Sometimes, Aquarius, you may get the impression that you are cold, detached, uh, serious, logical. And the other partner may take this as you are not interested. So you may have lots of love and interest for another person, but they may get the impression that you are not interested. So express the love you have for uh, the people you love. That's what I'm getting as what you should be more aware of in 2023. Now, let's see about your love life. So, already I saw commitment and restoring the faith in love. But let's see what can we get more for your love uh, life in 2023. Be more straightforward. Don't tolerate dishonesty and this will provide you the right path to that uh, long-term happy commitment. You may create a family, uh, you may get married, again it is repeated here with the Empress, but uh, be straightforward, don't be harsh with your words, Yes, definitely, but be uh, straightforward, transparent about what you like and what you don't like in a connection. And expect the same. Expect uh, the other partner to be transparent uh, to you, to be honest and uh, sincere. Now, let's see about your work life. What is the work message for you in 2023? If there has been some stagnancy in your career, in the money sector, 
There's、uh, the year 2020. Sorry, the year 2023 will be the year of taking off. Uh, of progress in the career, I have the chariot. Some of you may need to travel. It's not long distance; it's it is、uh, short distance travel. But you may need to travel.、Uh, there will be progress, but you have also to be more motivated. You have to take initiative. It will not come at your lap and、uh, out of the blue. Yes, you should work.、Uh, For it, if we see here,、uh, the chariot card tells about some challenges there,、uh, minor challenges, but that can be overcome by confidence and courage. So, and progress. So, if、uh, if there's some stagnancy in your career, I think in 2023 you will see more、uh, progress there. Now let's see what are Uh, or what is the message from the zodiac dices? So I have Mars in the fifth house. I'm getting your dating life being quite intensive.、Uh, you may put more focus in your、uh, hobbies or. Your creative、uh, pursuits. I think if you are looking to have children, so、uh, if you、uh, have a family, have created a family,、uh, want a child or children, I think there's、uh, a possibility there if you are looking for、uh, expanding the family or creating a family. There's another possibility there, but if you are looking、uh, to date,、uh, you will have、uh, more focus into it than in 2022, and also hobbies, creative pursuits、uh, will be in focus of yours, because I have the Mars in the fifth house. The fifth house is the house of of、uh, children, of、uh, hobbies. Dating, love life, and Mars is the energy we put into it, or where we will see more、uh, focus. So this was the general、uh, overview、uh, for you in 2023. Now I will continue this reading with more extra details in the extended link,、uh, where I will cover. First, a quick overview for each of the twelve months of 2023. Then, when you may meet the most important person in your love life. What sign、uh, are they, and what kind of personality? And what is the overall message for 2023 for you, Aquarius? If you want to watch the extended of this video, you can find it now in the description box below this video. If you are watching this from your mobile phone, you can find it by clicking the title of this video. The description box will expand, and at the top you can find the extended link. Thank you for watching. Wishing you all the best and a happy, healthy 2023.